So in Boreal, Alaska, Beck and his co-authors found NDVI regional trends consistent with tree rings. So these plots are tree ring plots, and the brown circles represent plots where tree ring growth was negatively correlated with a warming climate. And those typically occurred above a temperature May through August threshold of 12 degrees C. And the plots that had an increasing trend in tree ring growth as the climate warmed, they typically occurred in this area, so they were below this threshold of 12 degrees C. And then basically, Beck et al. found a similar pattern in terms of NDVI trends, a greening trend in Arctic Alaska, and then a browning trend in boreal interior Alaska, central and eastern interior Alaska. Okay, so here's an example from Becky Baird's thesis where she looked at browning at different landscapes in interior Alaska. And for example, we've got south facing slopes and they consistently have the highest NDVI, peak NDVI for the summer because they're dominated, uh, their warm sites dominated by aspen and birch. In contrast, we have valley bottoms, and those are cold sites, and they're dominated by sparse black spruce stands. So they typically have lower peak summer NDVI. But what's surprising is the trends amongst these different landscape types, the cold valley bottoms versus the warm south-facing slopes, the linear trend is similar. And we interpreted that as a response to regional climate. So basically we have this regional climate and it's affecting these landscapes in a similar manner.